Hello, this is Tim Cross from Allen Press, and welcome to part three of this three-part tutorial on using Kodak Insight Prepress Portal. In part one, I showed you how to upload files, and in part two, we covered proofing or smart review. Part three will cover approving and rejecting pages. Once smart review has been completed, you can proceed to approving and rejecting pages. There are two ways you can do this. You can approve or reject a single page at a time, or you can do it as a batch. Here's how the single page approval works inside of Smart Review. You'll notice at the bottom you've got a green check mark and a red X. To approve a page, you click on the green check mark and then click Approve. And you'll notice you have two decision points here. The first one is Review OK. And this is a non-binding decision. It simply indicates that you or another reviewer have looked at this page. It seems to be OK. It meets your criteria, but you're not ready at this point to move on to a final approval. So it can work as a bookmark or a tag, or it can just look work as a preliminary uh, approval. Clicking on Approve is your final approval, and it indicates that this page is ready to print. This is a final decision on this particular page, so if you need to change your decision on this, you can contact your account manager at Allen Press, and he or she will override that decision for you and revert the page status. Reject works the same way. I click on the red X, then click Reject, and you'll see that we have three decision points here. Review o Not OK works like Approve OK. It's a non-binding decision. It indicates that you or another reviewer have looked at the page. You feel that there's something wrong with it. it um, you'd like to maybe take a second look at it, but you're bookmarking it and you're uh, not ready to either reject or approve the page. Request correction works exactly like it sounds, and then reject is where you make your final decision to reject the page. Uh, a few notes about this. The system is programmed to never print a rejected page, so you don't need to worry about that. But you will need to upload a new page to replace the page that you rejected. And as with the final uh, approval decision, if you change your mind um, and need to override this, you can contact your account manager at Allen Press, and he or she will help you override this decision and revert the page status. The other way you can approve or reject pages, and this is uh, extremely valuable if, if you have large jobs, is that you can do them as a batch. So to do that, I need to close Smart Review, and I'm going to go back to the Summary tab, and then go up here to the right and click on the Pages tab. And you'll notice when we're here that you can see the Select on the left there. You can still do a page-by-page -page approval or rejection, uh, but you also have the option to do a batch approval. So I'm going to select the first page just to show you that, and I'm going to reject that page. And you can see there on the right, we've got a red X that says rejected with the name of the reviewer. At this point, what I'd like to do is do a batch approval. So I will click on Select All, and then I'll click Approve. Click OK. And now you'll notice that all of our pages have been approved. This would be great if I had 180 pages in this job and I didn't want to step through each one and approve each one. What I could do is use the Review OK function make sure each page looks okay, and then when I'm satisfied, do a batch approve. And this allows you to create a process that works the best for you. This concludes part three of uploading and proofing print files in Kodak Insight. I wish you the best of luck in your future designing and printing projects. And as we say at Allen Press, print it, publish it, love it.